Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverages. A very floral rose lemonade. So welcome back to the game. And previously we planned off this, which is our reform island. It consists of a central arrival slash helipad area and then surrounding buildings for pretty much everything. Things like a reception, there's kitchen, canteen, we'll have workshops, library, mail room. Basically, if you can think of the room, it's pretty much around here. Now, in this episode, we're going to obviously get on with some building. Let's go to Grants, and we're going to go with Administration Centre and Green Machine, not Basic Detention Centre. And while we are thinking about that one, let's just go to, uh, let's see, Office, and I'm going to go over to Wall or oh, Cushion. No, uh, I think we're going to do... In spite of our sci-fi pack roots here, because we've got like the sci-fi look, we're actually going to go with, I think, pretty much wood throughout the entire design. I'm not too sure why, but, uh, well, we'll run with it. Is that a gap of three or a gap of two? It is a gap of three, yes, so it can go on there. So, oh, will this remember? I think it does. Uh, yes, reclaimed wood, a one and then two. So there's the two offices. We also need to hire a warden, and I'm going to go with a couple of workers extra as well. And while we're waiting, we're going to go with fencing. This will eventually become uh, not fencing. <laughs> It'll become a cliff or perimeter wall, most likely. I'd like both, but obviously it's a lot of money and a lot of effort, so we'll see. We're going to go with these fencing here, one, two, three, and I'll put one in there. And why has the planning been removed from here? Look at that, it's been removed. We had pathways around here, didn't we? How curious. Let's just put them back in and take too long. In fact, while we're on this, because this is this is one of the things I was going to change. Uh, not the, not, the, not not exactly the path thing, but I want to go with walls four up and same down below. The reason for that is pathing one two three one two three. I want to increase the size of solitary. I mentioned that in the last episode, so I'm just actioning that now. So down by four. That goes in there. Pathways of three, pathways of three. That means then the rooms have to shrink down. One, two, three, four. And that'll be further shrunk anyway because of the uh, flower garden that we're probably going to put in. But yeah, that also means a lot of problem with contraband because we then won't have the fences to go around it because minimum size is five, I believe. Flower garden, yes, minimum size five by five, so we won't be able to have that in here without a huge amount of contraband being brought in the facility. I'm actually not too bothered if that happens. I'll clarify that <laughs> I'm not saying, oh, we're going to make it really insecure. What I mean is that we can skate. We can do it other ways. We can have the checkpoints in other areas. We can have metal detectors. Um, someone did mention as a joke having metal detectors in every cell. It is possible, and I've seen it done. Uh, it's. I don't think. We, I think we need more power, but we'll see. But we can also schedule shakedowns for say like every other day. So there's means. There's, there's ways and means. Anyway, over to our utilities and to electrical, and I'm going to put in the transformer. Um, where do I want the transformer? I think the transformer can go in there. I don't like it being right next to the edge. Wiring then was a power export meter, which can go in there. Water, I'll put in later. Green energy here, one, two, three solar panels. Once those are in, we will then get access to the wind turbine. I'm going to go with one, two, and then three. And then that'll give us access to the wind solar hybrids, which, quite frankly, I'm going to do this. And yes, I'm spending a lot of money on wind solar hybrids and things like that, but we're going green early. It means that we can get lots of exports. That is the, the plan. And we need to hire an accountant. So there is one of the grants done. I'm going to go with extra grant and a bank loan. I'm going to go with maintenance with the warden here and then pick up... I'm going to pick up probably the basic detention centre because it's 20 grand advanced payment, which is good. And also, now that the power export meter is in, we can go with wiring and we'll then connect that up like so. Another of these has been done. Uh, I think we're going to go with long-term investment because it does take a while. We'll also pick up short-term and then eco-friendly. The, the problem that I have really 
is well actually that can't be discussed for medical reasons but what i'm saying is that we've got another grant and i think oh we need we need to we need the lawn really don't we we need to get that on the go the basic extension then is going to be a problem because I, I need an indoor area and well i just don't have one uh, speaking of the area that we don't have people have rightly pointed out that exports and deliveries over here is a terrible idea because you're always ferrying stuff from the middle fair point well made let's uh, change that by deleting the kitchen Actually, let's not just delete the kitchen. Let's go to objects, and I'm going to put in the objects around the canteen. Now, the canteen is, I believe, appropriately sized. I did a rough calculation. We've got just under 90 prisoners, uh, all told. So this would be 4, 8, 16, 32, 48, is that? And then that's on both sides. So we've got more than enough capacity here. Walls will have to go along. We'll open that up, and then we're going to have the uh, sort of plumbing system there have a row of whatever there and then another row of the uh, cookers along that way so that's now in that looks like seven to me it is indeed seven so we're going to remove that we're going to measure seven and that'll go across and across and the bottom will open up and then that means that we can have uh, what was it it was going to be deliveries which will go on that side we'll have storage which will go in here we're going to have in the garbage which is going to go in here and then we'll have the exports which can go next to that and then i will remove all of this on the other side like so okay that is now in progress we are not connected up let's uh, actually do that so we'll do something like this and I, I did i did wire it up i'm not going insane am i well that process has definitely already begun yeah it's working right i'm gonna go with probably the brain.exe has crashed i think we're gonna go with eco-friendly uh, use only green power sources for five days so you know it's gonna take a while to do that but we can work on that one and those are now queued which is good Let's see where we need to go from here. So I need an indoor area. These yards, that says secure behind at least one door, and it isn't. Does it have to be just like right next to, hang on, um, yard. I think if I was to do this, this would do the job, because it will be next to, yeah. I think that, I think that did tick over to say that was legitimate there for a second. It's a legit yard, yes. So why is this one not? Is it because it's just not adjacent to it? Really? Hmm. That's weird. Hang on. Let's remove it. And redo it. So that one's fine, but that one isn't. Is it because it's it is literally adjacent to it like that? To do that and that with a brick. How? How strange. Hmm. Anyway, power export. We're exporting power. Are these all connected? They are all connected. Do we need some more? I don't think so. I'm not worried about it. We're going to go with basic detention centaur. Let's go foundation. More. Reclaimed wood wall. And. I mean, technically that garbage and export can be outside, so I'm probably going to do that. I am going to put in these areas, and then the middle, then this bottom bit, because I'll need additional rooms, so that should be fine. What do I want for doors? Now, we could just go with standard door. There's, there's only, I mean, there is access to a wooden door. Pick like a barn door. I mean, it just looks a bit... It just doesn't look very good, truth be told. Saloon doors. Mm, I mean, technically it's going into here, maybe. I think I'm just going to be boring and go with standard doors. Yeah, go boring. He's in. Oh, hang on, wait. Was that was there necessary? I don't think that one was necessary. <laughs> we'll see. It was there and there, wasn't it? I was going to put one there and there, there and there. I guess I could 
put the doors on the top and bottom to go give us access to this would actually help out. Yeah, why not? So that's now getting built. We have not run any power. I'm still, I'm just, I'm still wondering why that yard is legit and those aren't. We've got sim out fences. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go with security. We've got maintenance. I can hire a maintenance person, hire a foreman. I don't think I need to at this stage. Power export is already maxed out, so we can't export any more. So that's not going to happen. Quick build. It's going to be an office again. One and two. Get those done. And that was... Oh, did it remember? Pretty sure it did. Reclaimed wood wall, yeah. So we've got sci-fi pack skin, but we're also running just wood. <laughs> yep, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. I'm going to go with reclaimed wood wall. It's going to go across here. And across here. Ah, huh. there is no delivery area linked to this in logistics. I wonder why. It should automatically have done that. Hmm. No matter. So, green energy goals. Green energy goal 3. Export 1,000 units of power. Increases the power export cap to 1,000. That goes to 2,500, then 500. You also have to charge some batteries. We're on 2% of that one. And increases the power generation by a factor of 2. Long term on the go. Eco-friendly. Working on that one. Yeah, look at that. There's concrete. And it's it's not... Oh, they've got loads of concrete. Connect. Now that's a bit naughty, isn't it? Have you ever seen that before? I've not got logistics locked. I've not got logistics unlocked. But I can click on that and click connect and access logistics. <laughs> Is that intentional? It could be intentional because if you were to be in a situation where you couldn't connect it up, that could be game ending. But there's a lot of other things that you think were in and aren't, so I, I don't know. I, have you seen that one before? Let me know. We're going to go with some more walls like this and on this side. And how we're going to do this. So, in the centre, doors. Because that's going to become... Well, canteen. Like that. Kitchen. Shower. Holding cell. Objects-wise... Shower head. Shower head. Um, a swerving table. We can swerve around that. Bench orc. Oh, no. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Hang on. Table orc. What? So a table orc would look better. But it's a 2 by 3 thing. Whereas tables ain't. So, you actually get, for the same form factor, form factor, less prisoners. How curious. Sinks can go in. Fridges? I mean... Uh, fridge. Cooker. That's all in. This one. Bench and a loo. And... That'll be that done. And due to administrative error, our compen compensation has been doubled. Well, I'm not going to inform the relevant authorities about that. <laughs> we will take that. Literally all the way to the bank. Ah, the yard's saying it's legit now. Ah, that's what it was. It's because there was access to the helipads. I believe. Could be wrong. It happens all the time. 
Let's just remove that. And actually, we'll put some doors in. Actually, these are walls. These are the opposite of doors, as a rule. More on, use at 11. And... I think I want to go for... Do I want to go with jail doors or just standard, just standard doors, really? Obviously, we'll put metal detectors in at some point to be confirmed. That's now in. Let me run some electrical cable. So it's going to come down. And I'm just going to run it right through the spine of the facility. And then we'll branch out. That's probably what we'll do. Oh, bit of yard there we'll get rid of. And let's see. Get a bank loan. Short-term investment. Why not? So eco-friendly and short-term investment uh, will be ticking off. Well, we'll be ticking that off shortly. Feels pretty good. Pathways-wise, I'm going to try and not use concrete tiles. <laughs> Probably going to use them. Um, I'm tempted to use dock. Use the dock. Might be quite good. Maybe. Maybe. We haven't got any water in. Let's sort that out. So utilities, water, water pump. This is a bit of a problem actually, because if I was to put the pump around here, be a large pipe running very close to these, I'm tempted to put the water pump all the way over here, and then basically have a, a pipe that goes around, and then we sort of branch off. Hmm. Or is that overthinking? No, I think it's a legitimate thing to do. I can go in there, and the pipe will go up and around the middle. I think like that, basically, like a big, just a big, almost a big circle. We'll have to come to here as well. I'm not going to connect it up because there's often problems when that happens. I'll do that. Tee it off. Same thing will happen on this side. Uh, actually, yeah, was that a better idea of doing it? Yeah. That one. And that one. A lot of pipe. Electrical. We haven't even connected this up yet. Coming down across. Requires electricity. Then I'll we'll have to connect these up as well. These buildings. Mm, don't want to do that. I don't want to connect up the power directly to this, just in case there's a problem with it. Uh, Green Energy Goal 3 is being completed, which is good. That means power export meter to, I believe it's 250. No. It's gone to 1,000. Well, that's good. And we were, we've already hit the cap, <laughs> right? I was going to say, do we need any more wind cell hybrid? We do not. We really don't. How is the how is the electrical cable? It's uh, it's not it's not finished, and that's the best way we can describe that. Fine. Okay. Over to health, prison labour, deployment. We're going to go with foreman. Chief, and that means that we can obviously pick up other loans as well. Bank loan is good. We've only got a 500 generic currency loan. That's all we need to increase the uh, the credit rating. It's currently 2.6. It's amazing just how hard that can be hit if you ever go into negative. Let's go with the reception in the middle. That's what this was always going to be. So it requires office desk. We'll just use... Do we use standard? Put that there, and the chair there. Then it needs tables. One, two, three. Guess we can put some either side, but I'm not going to actually. I'm going to put a recycling bin in. And another Wahili bin. Because it's really good. I mean, it's... 
we're, we're not discussing what's just been said. Right, where else do we need to go? We've got... Uh, I mean... Grants? We just need to wait for Grants to finish, really. There's a lot of dingling noises. It's prison labour. Unlock groundskeeping. All of these will allow me to get more grants done once we hit that. I don't know whether I need to sack any workers or get rid of any of the guards. I don't think so. Obviously, these are all temporary. And I do mean temporary, not temporary permanent. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll have to sort that out. I will do need to do need to get cleaning in here. I mean, we could start thinking about these these rooms. I don't have an infirmary, but I think I was going to put the infirmary over this side. I think that's probably what I'll end up doing. I'm just going to go over to walls and doors and have a reclaimed wood wall. Cause it's going to go like this. Because all this is going to be uh, reclaimed wood. And for the normal doors, do I use jail doors? I do use orange. Orange will probably fit in with the wood a bit better. But the problem with orange is, it's not default, which means I'm probably going to forget about it and make a mistake. <laughs> That's literally the reason why I'm not doing it, maybe? Mm, I don't have to worry, because that fence is already in, so... Yeah, there we are. I think I mentioned about these areas as well, where we've got uh, objects, which might be snipers. I don't think we're going to have snipers. I, I really don't think we're going to have snipers, truth be told. But... We'll have to see what's our export on. Still a thousand, which is good. I can then pick up staff wise a psychologist, but I don't think we really need one. While we're waiting, then, let's go to regime and get this altered. So we'll have eat lock up, work free time, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Should we go? Five and five? We'll have a lock up in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, 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 no. Just go with the four. Uh, work free time. And then eat lock up. One, two, three, four. And then a couple of hours of free time at the end. Something like that. It's just a basic one. I haven't set a prison policy, because I need prison policy. So I'll, I'll, I'll unlock prison policy. Deployment wise, staff only on there, on that section. Helipad, deliveries. That one I can't. Why can't I on that one? Uh, that's going to be visitor only. Why can't I on that one? Am I missing a door? No, it's exactly, exactly, it's exactly the same as that. Let me shift that light. Yeah, look at that. How curious. Don't know why that's like it is, but it is. Just do that to get power to the, uh, the end here, either side, which is good. So, short and long-term investments on the go. 33 hours for the short term. Eco-friendly will also take over a couple of hours after that, which is 10 grand. After that, we need to think about other grants. Almost certainly... I mean, we could just go with cell block A. Cell block A. 15 prisoner capacity. Very easily done. Staff well-being, probably actually the way to go. Oh, you need five guards though. Security procedure certification we can go with. Visitation rights, prison maintenance, inmate health and well-being. Actually, that's probably the way to go. Hire a psychologist, hire at least two doctors, build a medical ward. We've got that all unlocked. Audleys as well. I'm not too sure whether we're going to run with Audleys. It's not something I've really thought about in a non-CI facility before. Hmm. Anywhere. Double check that deployment. Yeah, it's so curious. Why? Yeah, is that because of the connections? Mm. I think it's because it's how it's accessed. Yeah. 
Pinbound is everything. I don't really need to alter it, I don't think. No. Okay. Just going to start setting up some patrols, because I know eventually we're going to have to do this anyway. So I might as well just get it out of the way. So it's going to be across and down. I'm tempted to... I am. I'm going to put a door in either side of that one. Or is this a silly idea? It is a silly idea. We want to do that, don't we? Basically. Because then we can set up dogs on each one. I'm still going to put the door in. Uh, can we... Fence? And actually this, believe it or not, can aid security. Because, as we've seen, if we can jump onto this fence, we can then jump onto the wall. And that obviously means access to this whole thing. I don't think it would really alter it too much, but it's something to think about. Okay. I'm going to probably just put the rest of the cookers in. Well, not for 500 apiece, I'm not. <laughs> That's not happening. No. Okay, well, I think we are going to leave it there. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Happy with the progress. Shorter than normal episode, but that's fine. We've got the main central spine in. Obviously, there's a huge amount of other rooms to do. But next episode, in fact, what I'll probably do is advance time until we've got eco-friendly and short-term investment done. And then we've got a bit of money to play with. And then... We'll pick up some more grants, continue building all of the good stuff, and as always, hope you have enjoyed it. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.